All right, so I just got out of yesterday, which is, of course, the new Danny Boyle film. And, you know, I overall enjoyed the film. I thought it was really enjoyable. I thought the, I thought the premise alone was very interesting. Basically, what happens is this struggling musician, he gets into, a, he gets into like, an accident while he's riding his bus. And then during the accident, there's, like, a 12 seconds where the whole world goes completely pitch black. Like, the electricity goes out. And he wakes up and... Within the next day, when he's singing a song, when he's singing yesterday to a group of his friends, he finds out that the Beatles essentially don't exist in this universe anymore. And that premise alone was more than enough to convince me to go see this film. And when I actually saw the film, I think it does live up to its potential for the most part. There are a lot of interesting aspects in here. It's not just the Beatles themselves who have completely vanished from existence, but there's like little parts where like. Apparently, Harry Potter doesn't exist in this world. Coca-Cola doesn't exist in this world. Uh, cigarettes don't exist in this world. This Oasis, the band who does the song Wonderwall, doesn't exist in this world. Just like that kind of stuff there. It, it's very funny, and it does lead to a lot of really interesting and funny moments in the film. And I thought that was one of the things that really works about this movie. It does a good job of blending these very funny comedic moments and these very serious moments together. And a lot of it goes on the ca the cast in this movie. I think you got Lily James, who I think is a really good actress. I've seen her in a lot of good stuff. I saw her in Cinderella. I thought she was great. She was one of the few things I really liked in Baby Driver, which is a movie that a lot of people really like, but I'm not the biggest fan of. I really is. I don't think that's. I think that's of all the movies that Edgar Wright has done, that's probably his worst one. But I really, but I really liked her in that movie, and I also liked her in um, Mamma Mia 2, which surprisingly I actually didn't think was all that bad, considering how bad the first movie was. And uh, Hamish Patel, who I've never seen before, I think he's a relative unknown. He was really good in this movie, not only as an actor, but as a singer too. He does a great job doing his own versions of these Beatles songs, and I thought the overall premise of how they were going to make this work. I thought it was done very well for the most part. There are a little bit of a couple of things in the script that didn't make a whole lot of sense. Like there are some elements in there, here or there, that just kind of go like, okay, well, how do you how are you going to write yourself out of this one? How do you explain this stuff? And sometimes they don't do it, but for the most part, they do really they do a good job of trying to keep the pa the balance together. Like Richard Curtis, the writer of this, who also directed um. I think he also directed Love Actually. He did Four Weddings and a Funeral. Yeah, he he wrote the script for this, and he does a good job for the most part. Danny Boyle does a really good job with the with the direction on this movie. I like is I like what he does here. He's he's done a lot of great stuff over the years. Train Spotting, Twenty Eight Days Later. I really like Steve Jobs, which came out earlier this in this decade. And you know, for the most part, it's a really enjoyable film. It's not a great movie movie like it's not going to be one that i would say is one of the best movies of the year where it's like completely perfect all around but it's an enjoyable fun film i think it has a lot of great elements to it i think the casting in it works really well the music in this is done very well the story is very well told for the most part it's an overall enjoyable film i wouldn't put it up there in the same lanes as something like rocket man which i think rocket man is probably one of the best movies of the year so far and watch watch it in the when it's Oscar time and it gets completely forgotten overall because it's a, it comes out in May and Oscar season is between September and January. If you don't put a movie out there, chances are you're not going to get nominated. For the most part, I mean, hopefully they fix that sometime this year, or at least turn it around this year. But yeah, overall, for the most part, I enjoyed this movie. I think it's a fun film. I don't think it's a perfect film all around. It has a lot. It has flaws but never enough flaws to where I would say it's a bad film. I think, the, for the most part, it's an, enjoyably, it's an enjoyable movie. If you love the Beatles, you're going to definitely enjoy this movie a lot. And I think if you like a good story with an interesting premise, this definitely takes that. This definitely does give you that and so much more. I think overall it's an enjoyable film. It's one that I think is probably going to get overlooked for the most part because... I don't know. A lot of people... Is, I don't know. For some reason, I just feel like not a lot of people are talking about this movie. Like, it's being kind of pushed under the radar. You got Annabelle Comes Home that comes out the same weekend, which is probably... Which is about... I think the last time I checked, it was about to do two times as much as this movie is doing this weekend. Although there are people coming to see this film. I mean, the theater I saw it in was packed with people, so... 
obviously maybe I wasn't the only one that thought nobody was going to go see this movie, but I hopefully it, hopefully it does because it is an enjoyable fun film. It's a crowd pleaser. It's a good kind of crowd pleasing film. I will say there are some elements about the film that did really take me by surprise. Like towards the end of the film, there's a part in the movie where Jack Mallet, uh, Hamish Patel's character, goes to see John Lennon. Now, because the Beatles don't exist in this world, John Lennon wasn't shot or ki shot and killed in 1980, so he's basically gone on to live a quiet, normal life by the beach, and they got Robert Carlyle, who's a regular of Danny Boyle, playing John Lennon, and I thought, for the most part, he did a really good job. I was wondering to myself when I saw that he was going to see John Lennon, I thought, who is this guy? I, I've seen him before, but I can't place the face, and then... It's not even in the end credits either. Like, when they show the credits for the movie, John Lennon's not even in the credits himself. So I had to do a little research, and it turns out on Wikipedia, that's where it says Robert Carlyle is John Lennon, which I thought he was really good in it for the little bit that he's in. He has some of the funnier lines in the f movie, and I just thought it was really well done. I will say that I wish we could have gotten more with the other Beatles as well. Like, I would have liked to see like a cameo by Paul McCartney or Ringo Starr or even George or even do what you did with John Lennon do that with George Harrison but they didn't do that which I think there was a lot of stuff that probably got deleted there's a there's an extension of the James Corden scene from the trailer that's not in the film with a supposed love interest which they cut from the film altogether like when James Corden's Late Late Show shows up in here it's like kind of a fantasy sequence but not in a way where it's like it's, it's not used in the, in the way the trailer makes you think it is. Like, it's going to be, like, one of the big scenes in the movie where, like, Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr are going to show up out of the blue. They don't show up in this movie, which I thought was kind of odd for the most part. But what else do I want to say about this movie? Well, there's nothing that I could think of right off the top of my head, but I will say for the most part it is, like I said, it's a crowd-pleasing movie, but a good kind of crowd-pleaser where it's not... It's not insulting the intelligence of the artists themselves. It's a fun movie. It's a well-told story. It's got great characters, great cast overall. The music is done very well. The direction is very nicely done. The writing is overall very good. It's a fun movie, and I think a lot of people should give this movie more attention than it deserves. Well, not deserves. That It's probably going to get, but... Yeah, I overall enjoyed the film. I think it's a great movie. If you love the Beatles, you're definitely going to get a kick out of it. Even if you're not a Beatles fan, I think you will get a, pre a good kick out of this movie. If you're just going to see it as a blind see, it's definitely worth the watch. I would highly recommend checking this movie out.